Peace, Miss Saint Ellie here, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Vesperia. In the last episode, we found out that Yuri's alive! Yay! Really? That's not so surprising, is it? Anyway, we are about to meet up with Rita in Ospio, so let's go ahead and land here and head into the caves. Okay, let's see if we can find her somewhere. Chances are she's in her little rundown shack as usual. So we're just gonna go right past the guards. Since we have our nifty little passport now from a long time ago. And, oh, what have we here? Eureka! Oh, Rita, Yuri is... It seems like she's blind to everything but her research right now. I can't really blame the people here for treating her like such a weirdo. She looked so happy. She must have discovered something. I hope so. Let's go and see. Way to make us feel loved, Rita. Way to make us feel so loved. I mean, really. Anyway, Rita's hut. What's up, girl? How's it going? Hello. Hmm. We should be able to calculate the force field stability coefficient. So... Rita? We can make a key formula. Efficiency is okay. Making a stable non-dispersing piece should be... Hey, Rita! What? Don't bother me! Huh? Oh, it's you. How did you get into... Wait, you're... Hi. Where the hell were you? I looked all over for you, you know. Uh, sorry about that. <sighs> well, whatever. I don't have time to argue about that. I have something very important to talk to Estelle about. To Estelle? I may have found a way to control the behavior of air. Really? That's great, Rita! I learned lots of things when I investigated Zaude. Like, how we might be able to apply the techniques used there. However... That is related to Estelle's power as a child of the full moon? We need to interact with the air to make it recombine freely according to a formula. This is something only Estelle can do. If only I hadn't given De Nomos back. Did you meet Duke? Yeah, he saved me. Well, he said it was so he could recover the sword. That sword's different from the Child of the Full Moon. I doubt it could be a substitute. But that control formula you used on Estelle... ...that was to control the power of the Child of the Full Moon, wasn't it? Yeah. So if we're going to control the air with this theory... ...we have to release the control formula on Estelle. So... ...if everything goes right, we control the air. But if we screw up... ...the air will get even worse and the world will fall to the Autophagos. Is that about right? That's quite a bold plan. I'm sure it'll be fine. Estelle, believe me. Lend me your power. <sighs> Are you scared? No, I'm happy. I might still be able to use my power to help others. Rita, please let me know if there's anything I can do. So what exactly do we need to do? Well, I'm not completely finished working everything out. Give me a little more time. Okay, we'll go see Carol and Raven while you figure things out. Great! I'll go too. I've got all the materials I need in my head. I'll let you know when I work it all out. Alright, let's go. Brainiac. Seriously, Rita. Oops, character skit. Dang it, please still be there. Please. Yep, it is. Alright, glad Yuri's safe, women. Ooh, if he was safe, the least he could have done is let us know. That idiot. Yeah, if we'd known he was okay, we wouldn't have wasted all this time looking for him. But we wouldn't have known he was alright if we hadn't looked. Which is why he should have let us know in the first place. I mean, we looked all over. We'd be too worried about him if we hadn't. You were really worried, weren't you, Rita? What? It's good he made it back safe and sound. Yes, I'm so glad. And just look how happy Rita is. Hap! 
Are you happy? Ugh. Aww, Rita's happy that we're safe. But seriously, that's a little unreasonable. How could I let you know that we're alive if we're unconscious at the bottom of the sea and in Zophius and being saved and stuff? I'd imagine that we were out for quite a while while Duke was trying to revive us. Well, kind of trying to revive us. I think he was more just standing around and just like staring at us or something. Like a little creeper. Anyway, up into Baul, and now we are off to... Dungrass! It's been a while since we've been there. Okay, so just fly right on over here. Look at that. That Autofagos thing, air thing in the sky is just creepy looking. Yeah, I better watch where I'm going before I like pass up Dongress. Is that it right there? Yes, that is. Okay. Okay, it's time to climb down and go into Dongress. Now, both Raven and Carol should be here somewhere. I just gotta find them. Anyway, come over here. Everything looks safe and sound here. I wonder if anyone comments on that thing in the sky. Uh, no. Hey, no, shut up. Okay, no one really cares. Okay, come over here and... Damn it! Why did I have to do it? That was... The Dawn's grandson, Harry, right? Sorry for worrying. But I'm back. Well, aren't you tough? <laughs> That's my boy. We just saw Harry. Did something happen to him? Uh, there's been just a teensy bit of trouble. The Union's kind of a ship without a captain right now. So the people won't come together unless there's some kind of core. So even if the air stability coefficient keeps changing, if I connect one of those... Hold on, forget the explanation. We wouldn't understand it anyway. Oh, okay. The apatheia we gave to the Dawn should still be around, right? That was Belius's apatheia, the Cyanosia. Rita's found a way to control air! Really? Cool! Do you know what happened to the Cyano CL after the Dawn died? Nope, but Harry actually might. Good timing, too. I was just about to take him back. Go to the Union headquarters. We'll be back there soon. Really? What's with everyone saying you should have let me know you were alive? And we really couldn't at all. I mean, we came here, didn't we? That's kind of letting you know that I'm alive, right? Anyway, let's come over here and just wait for Raven to bring Harry back. The atmosphere is kind of strange. Yeah, the Union is falling apart. Nobody wants to step up in to take the Dawn's place. I don't really blame them. That's kind of big shoes to fill. And the Dawn's air in quite up to up to it. Come on, but don't hang back now. I was the one who led Grandpa to his death. Yeah, you kind of were. Thank you for admitting this. Nobody's saying you gotta become a man like the Dawn was. We're just saying you should at least show up to the up to the succession meetings. Okay. Wow, Rita. Hey, do you have the Dawn's Epithea? We'd appreciate it if you give it to us. Nicely put. Oh, wow. Okay. So, that's a bit of a complication. Well, when will they su choose a successor? I don't know. Don't ask me. Well, I don't think we can really count on him much. That boy's a real piece of work. 
Who's going to protect the city if the Union isn't? Huh? That would be our guild, of course. Talking of whose guild? I know that you sent in your Clouds of Dawn members to Z Zaude. Okay, so now everyone's going to start bickering. Okay, great. You guys look weak. You're like normal enemies. I say it was imprudent. It could have been taken as the Union's hostile act against the Empire. In that case, we, could, we would defend our honor on the battlefield. And who will be leading the battle? The Clouds of Dawn? Great. Okay. Let's not fight now. This is ridiculous. Continue as you please till the world comes to an end. But don't bring up a war between the guilds. This isn't a joke. Great, Yuri. Way to go. It's all right to be helped by your friends. Protect your friends and they'll respond in kind. That was the last thing that the Dawn said to me. Uh-oh. Carol's growing some balls. I can't do anything by myself, but I have my friends. Because my friends are there for me, I can do anything. They're still there for me, even now. Why isn't that good enough for the Union? The boy is right. The best thing that the guilds ever had was their ability to help each other. There is always a way to deal with things even if you aren't some great big leader. The Dawn told you that from now on you have to walk with your own two feet. You know how to walk on your own feet, don't you? You make it sound so easy, but actually... Let's go. I'm gonna get sick if I have to stay here any longer. Listen well, Harry. What about the Apathea? If you've got enough spare time to be hanging around those idiots, you're b you'd be better off using it to think of another plan. Another plan? It's not that easy. Here. Oh, so Harry did come in handy. No, this is going to be stolen. Nice. Get a move on before the others realize it's gone. So what do we owe this generosity? I don't know. Maybe it just left a bad feeling in my stomach to get lectured by a kid like that. Nice going, Carol! So now that we've gotten the Apathea, what's next? Next up, we're going to the Zophair Rift. I'm going to use the inactivated air canae that's there. The Rift? We're going someplace cold again? Mind if old Raven waits here? You'd rather be cold than have the world be destroyed, wouldn't you? Let's go! Okay, so we have the Cyano Seal Crystal back! Bellius is with us once more. Alright, we have another character skit, the other half of the Yuri safe side quest, not side quest, but character skit things. I'm so glad Yuri's okay. Are you kidding? The Atafagos, the whole world going nuts? There's no way that kid would miss this. You weren't worried, Raven? Eh, maybe just a little, but guys like him keep getting up, no matter what happens, so... Nah, I wasn't too worried. <laughs> you really believe in Yuri, don't you, Raven? Aw, oh, you're gonna make this old man blush. Raven? Blushing? Really? No thanks! Anyway... Yeah, everyone is finally back together! I'm sure everyone is really, really worried about Yuri, considering he practically fell to his death, but... Everything's A-OK -okay now, so... Let's head out of Dongrest and hop into Baul to continue doing... NOT the storyline. Now, haven't you guys learned anything about Tales of Vesperia yet? After every major arc that happens, what do we have to go through? Side quests! <laughs> oh, that's right, after that whole big Zaude thing, we 
now have another long line of side quests to do. I'm hoping that this won't take quite as long as the last one. There's a couple more interesting ones to do, so maybe that'll make up for the long list. Anyway, we'll be starting that in the next episode, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and cut this episode here, and next time we'll be starting that list. Messina is not out quite yet. Character skit! Just stick them together. Estelle, that art you just did. Yes, I know. I surprised myself, too. I just kind of stuck attack magic and support magic together, and that came out. No, no, no. That was way more powerful than just kind of sticking them together. R really? That just shows how strong Estelle's grown. <gasps> well, you're definitely a lot stronger than when I first met you. Keep up the good work, Estelle. Of course. You two do the same. Aw, Estelle. I really don't like how that these after Mystic Art character skits keep showing up like way, way after the fact. I mean, I think that was like a, what, a couple episodes ago? But oh well, what you gonna do? I guess it's because I only now got everyone together, so what, what do you expect? Anyway, now that that's over with, I will see you guys next time. Messina out.